Hi there, Pisces. This is Tanya Lee of Harmonia Tarot, and welcome to your love reading. This is a reading for how your person feels, how you feel, and your combined energy, all right? Uh, this is a little bit late. I typically do these mid-November. It's just, you know, things have been... <laughs> Not going as smoothly as I would love them to go. Um, so it's a little bit late, guys, but it's okay because December's coming right on here. These readings are really timeless, so keep that in mind, even though this is mostly, you know, primarily for November's energy. Really consider this a timeless reading for you, Pisces, okay? If you guys are new to this channel and you feel guided, go ahead and hit subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell twice so that you can be notified of all future updates. And as a general reminder to everybody, this is a general re reading, meaning it's not going to resonate with every single soul that's out there, Pisces. So please utilize your own intuition. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't force anything to fit. Not necessary. It just means it's not for you if it's not for you. Okay? So we're going to get started. Um, like I said, I'm going to do one side with your energy, another side on your person's energy of how they're feeling, and then the combined energy in the middle for you. Let's get started, Pisces. Calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascendant masters as to what messages in love Pisces needs to hear. How is Pisces feeling? How is their partner or person that they're thinking of feeling? What is their combined energy? Well, 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 what do we have here? We're starting off with flying. This is on your side here. Now, guys, if it fits more on the opposite side, I just want you to flip the energy, okay? Whatever goes more on your side. We have flying on your side, and then on your person's side, we have dry desert, but it's reversed, okay? So here's the thing. I haven't even done the combined energy, but... <clears throat> I do feel like somebody will basically left a situation here. It does feel like the energy of your individual who has felt high and dry out in the desert. Nothing was going as planned. They feel stranded. It's reversed. So that means something is coming back. And it's funny because then we have your energy, which is flying above, meaning that you're seeing a whole new perception. And I do feel strongly it's a new perception of this individual. It's like things that maybe you haven't seen before, all right? Now, smack in the middle, we have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now, Pisces. So this is the combined energy of you both. This does feel like the energy, Pisces, for those of you who are separated from your, your person, that you are thinking of. So I know that that kind of eliminates people, but this is the strongest message that I'm getting. I feel like with both of the energies, the, the and this could have been a financial stress or somebody was financially stressed about a situation, um, could have lost a job, but it's like, I just feel very much somebody lost a job, felt isolated, felt stranded, Almost like somebody thought, and this is what I'm hearing, and this might be on your individual side, but it's almost like, you see how they're like going here in the dry desert looking for that water, right? God, I'm actually feeling super thirsty right now. <laughs> like, you know, I just feel this person was super thirsty and saw an illusion of something, okay? Something of a better opportunity. I don't know why, I mean, I'm seeing this, this could have been an, a third party situation, but somebody thought that they were getting something that was an illusion. It could have been something work-related. It could have been someone that they fell for at work, okay? But again, I feel in your energy strongly here, and we'll see what the tarot has to say, but with flying in the clouds, I feel like there's something in here that is going in your favor. You see a new perception. I just feel like things like... If you were in the level of feeling like crashing when this individual left you, you're doing, you're being, you're very successful right now. You're the opposite of what happened to this individual, what they thought they were actually going towards. That's what it feels like. We haven't even gotten into the cards yet, but I feel strongly somebody had chosen something that was a mirage. Yeah, let's see what the what the cards say though. <clears throat> Yeah, we have the four of wands reversed. 
the Page of Pentacles, and we have the Six of Swords. Mm -hmm. On your person's side, we have Temperance. We have the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, they were definitely, and the Hangman, definitely left out, like trying to get, they were very financially, and they see you as actually the person who got financially successful in this. Um, the Three of Wands and your combined energy is reversed. We have the Ace of Pentacles and we have the Chariot. How interesting. How interesting is this? Pisces. Oof. Why do I have this feeling? And I'm not, I can't even get into the cards right now. I just feel like here's a situation, Pisces, where, um, and I know this is a specific story, but they're wanting me to really focus on this. I just feel like we have somebody who left somebody dry, cut and dry, and could have been a financial hardship, could have been a long-term relationship, and somebody fell for somebody at work or something, like an opportunity that they thought they were going to bank on, like it would seem like a dream. It feels like a dream partnership, and if this wasn't love for this individual and a third party, a third party does not have to be love, it could just have been a job or anything, everything that they thought it, it wasn't, it's not what it was, you know? It's like, it's not what it was, you know? They actually, it flip-flopped. It's like as soon as they left and everything, everything went for it, for your favor. All of the good stuff started to happen to you, I'm really hearing, okay? Could have been dealing with a fire sign here, but we have the four of wands. We're starting off here, how you feel. So this did feel like, this was reverse. This does feel like home and security. It feels like you had with this individual a home life, Somebody that you felt like family you could have had children with this individual, but <clears throat> with the page of pentacles next to this, and this is what's so interesting and the six of swords, this tell, tells me that you've already moved on. Okay. You've moved on from a situation here. Now here's what's interesting. Notice how the eye is above the pentacle with the hands here. The universe, I feel, Pisces, has strongly been watching over you. So what's happening here is a place of karma, all right? So there's good karma, there's bad karma. I do feel strongly on this individual side. They know that karma has hit them, okay? Because I'm really being focused here on the eyes in general. And I don't typically bounce around from, like, each side. But both of you guys, your first cards... They have temperance on their side, Sag Sagittarius energy. Again, you might be dealing with a fire sign here, Pisces, or you might just have fire in your chart, okay? But they see that temperance is all about balance, all right? This person, you see how that cup is like pouring over the eye? This person who thought that they had the ace of cups, thought that they had it all, it's like, nope. <laughs> how they feel, they feel that you got the balance they feel that it's almost like, and they, uh, here's what it is. I feel like they feel embarrassed. I feel like they're being watched on. I feel like they're, they're really, this person cares a lot about being judged, um, you know, judgments of others and everything. But I just feel like something has fallen in your lap. Something has gone in your favor. If you had gone through a divorce with this individual, financially things went in your favor or maybe you got a better job opportunity or luck came in your ha hands or you had an inheritance but this was something that was a timely matter okay something that was timely matter but it's like you couldn't get all of this this page of pentacles because how you felt was this person had given small offers or opportunities before but they sailed away you know that they sailed away you saw that they moved on and it's like, I think there was a lot of sadness there. I think you know that they never made you a priority here. They're really focusing on here that there was three swords. So I do feel like there was some kind of, you know, third party energy here. If it wasn't an individual, like I said, this person was going toward, like they just had so much like greediness. I'm hearing greedy. And I feel on the level they could have been utilizing you for your own financial or abundance needs. And it was like almost feeling tapped dry from this individual. So many of you, like I said, when this person left, you started to get the abundance and the support just started coming in towards you. Now we have the Six of Pentacles underneath the Temperance card on your person side here. Interesting, right? This is about all equal give and take. You got two balanced cards on their side. 
Now this is not what's going on with them. This is how they feel for you. They see a balance for you. They see money going into your pocket. Meanwhile, they're feeling very stuck, very tied down. Things aren't going in their favor, okay? It's almost like they're just, I feel like this person's getting enlightened, like a lot. And it's not like, and, we'll, and we're gonna have to do some validation cards on here, but I feel like this person's almost like, dang. I was just looking at a desert. And they're now evaluating what their their loss and it's like I really feel this person wants to go towards it okay now the three of wands reversed in your combined energy there's no more waiting right this is reversed this person knows you're not waiting for them maybe at one point you tried to fix it or you were trying to, you know you 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 were kind of like waiting or hoping they changed their mind but they didn't but you're flying off like, I feel strongly here, Pisces. You're like, I'm out. I'm in the clouds. I have a whole new perception of this. I'm not sitting here waiting, okay? Like, it's like you, you threw those wands down here, especially with the Ace of Pentacles. Are you kidding me? Again, the eyes. <laughs> Guys, look at the eyes on here. Just, and this feels very feminine, okay? But it feels like... It does feel like feminine energy. Now, again, it could be a female, but, like, it does feel like somebody is in the whole receiving mode and feminine energy is all about receiving but i do feel like this person sees that you have a lot to offer tangible now okay and with the cherry underneath this it feels like they're moving towards you now is this a feeling of love i will be honest oh my gosh look at this guys do you see this horse do you see it do you see how it's like mimicking this? They they definitely want to go towards you, but is this love? Like it almost feels very greedy. Let's see what the after tarot says, but like this feels like this individual because they definitely went after something else that was an illusion, right? But this doesn't feel genuine on on the side here. Let's see, let's let's um, validate this Four of Wands, this Page of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> yeah. How you feel, you feel, especially here with the Four of Wands and the Fool energy, you do feel that this person was a fool, right? That they, they, but now you might even realize that with everything that is going in your favor and perception, you probably are watching this person person, and you know them so well that you're like, I bet you they're going to come back. I bet you they're going to try to freaking call, crawl up, crawl up that ledge to offer something here, okay? Now, you guys have the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups here in your favor, okay? I do not feel like it's is how you feel that you're gonna be giving love to this individual, and we'll see it on their side, but this almost feels what the opportunity is coming your way, because this is from the divine, okay? So this, is a, this could be a huge reflection of self-love as well, Pisces, that you have a healthy dosage of it. It could be meaning that you have a new love offer here, but how you feel is like, you have abundance you have a lot of love here and this burden of this individual with the ten of wands and it does feel very strongly fire energy here but with them moving away you've dropped the burdens you're not holding on to all those wands anymore you're holding on to one and one the you know with the with the even if you were a page of wands holding on to one staff means a new beginning a new start right a new drive it's like okay I'm gonna pick myself and get myself back up here now let's see what is on this temperance the six of Pentacles and <clears throat> the hangman on your person side What's this about the moon <laughs> the eight of swords and the three of cups huh all right yeah <laughs> They, with the moon energy, they're a little uncertain coming towards you, okay? 
They don't think, they're not sure, they're not so sure what the outcome's going to be, what they actually want to do. With the Eight of Swords, that's all about anxiety and it's driven. I think that they feel that they are going to come in and save the day of some sort, help untie or come off like is like, let me help you, let me give you support, I'm so sorry I put you in this bounding situation. Um, you know, like I don't think that they realize how much you're watching them. They think that you're blindfolded, okay? Now, here's the th thing. There's too much, especially with the Three of Cups. Now, I don't typically always say it go to automatically to third party. This individual is not serious still. I do feel like they commingle a lot with other people. Um, you know, they probably drink a lot. This is somebody who just self-indulges. Um, how they feel is that they probably feel that you're very abundant and how they, they don't want to feel stuck anymore. So I feel like they're tapped out. I feel like they need some kind of abundance here and it does feel financially. This does feel like a financial use, but I don't feel like this person intends to emotionally be in that loving energy of like how you are, where you're offering like your whole heart. I don't feel like that they feel this way. I just don't. I feel like this individual is a, is a huge I'll have to say it, but it feels like a huge user here, Pisces, in your energy. This person is here for the money. They are. They're, they're here for the money. They're here for the support, the abundance. This person is someone where you let you take care of me, I hear. You take care of me. Right? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys final cards on here but on the three of wands you do have a dupe card here you have the four of wands again okay you're no longer waiting okay this combined energy is I do feel like you're moving away for something you have a lot of your own security again I feel like some of you actually might be getting a new home as well I just feel like you have upgraded it feels like you have upgraded here okay now with the ace of pentacles and the higher font here Again, counseling of some sort. This also could be contracts. This could be a divorce. Like I said, something going in your favor. But it feels like very strongly some kind of legality. So it, do, it does feel like some kind of legal contract or something is coming in favor here. Okay. Now with the chariot and we have death on top of this. Uh-uh, you ain't taking them back. This is a transformation, okay? This is the change. This individual is going to try to come back, trying to revive something. I just feel strongly that it is, like, because the sun's here, that there is a new beginning and a transformation of this relationship. But I don't feel like it's going back. It's probably closure, and the closure could finally just be divorce or, you know, ending of this. Like I said, some of you might have children with this individual, so it's like you're not gonna obviously completely have an ending with them, but something is transforming in this relationship where you're just way above them. You're not going to be leading on to any of their bullshit in any way or shape or form. I just feel like you really are going in for a new beginning here. And there's a lot of abundance here, Pisces, and a lot for those of you who this resonates for. I mean, I just feel like if it's not an inheritance or a new job or something, you, you just have a, you're just feeling more abundant here, right? Yeah, your healing message here is the signs. Looking for the signs, okay? Spirit is with you. Spirit is watching you. I feel like you are already a very intuitive person. You already know this. Many of you have been following the signs, and that's kind of like why this all kind of fell in your lap, because you trusted. You had that hope and feeling of going, okay, this person may have left me, but I know that there's something new coming in that is better for me, okay? And you have been patient in that level of just trusting the universe, trusting the universe. And for those of you who are still in that mode of waiting or feeling like distraught or doubt, this is this is the this universe reminding you of the things that are going to be coming your way if you just let go. And it's not just letting go of this person, it's letting go of, you know, forgiving yourself too. You know, I don't know, I'm hearing this strongly for some of you and I just will have to say it, for those of you who thought you wasted your time, nothing is a waste of time. It is a lesson, okay? It just makes you stronger, so remember that. All right, Pisces, I um, hope you like this reading. Go ahead and hit like. Don't forget to comment below and subscribe, and I will see you next time. December ones are coming out. All right, take care.